As we begin to get the gardening season underway for 1987, there are some places right around the garden that can be sources of pests early in the season. For example, railroad ties make a good way to build up the soil in the garden, give a good border for it, but it can also harbor a lot of small pests that can do some damage on our young plants. These pill bugs will chew on small seedlings as they begin to grow, and some of the larger creatures down in here, such as slugs, can move out from under the protection of this log at night and feed again on some of our small transplants. Watching for these areas, cleaning them up as best as possible, and to some extent using slug baits will help to reduce the problems with slugs and sow bugs around the garden. As we begin to dig and till our soils, two pests can also cause trouble. White grubs can be in the soil, especially where we use a lot of organic matter as mulch. Also, seed corn and root maggots can be a problem. The small flies that cause root maggot and seed corn infestations can be seen flying over and crawling around the ground surface. They'll lay their eggs anywhere there's a lot of organic matter and the small maggots can turn and feed on seeds or seedlings. The white grubs can feed on the roots of new vegetable plants as they become established. You can get information on treatment from these, for these insects from your county extension agent. I'm Lee Townsend, extension entomologist in the UK College of Agriculture.